What's up my piano friends? Today I want to show you three easy piano tricks you can learn in five minutes or less that'll impress everyone at the party. Make sure you stick around to trick number three, the heart melter. It's the most impressive and actually the easiest one to learn. And that's the one that just makes people fall in love. All right, so trick number one is the tear jerker pattern and this one's really simple. So we have our four chords over here and we're just gonna start off with our left hand on C and G. And the left hand is very simple. We stick to these exact notes for all four patterns. It never changes. And the right hand is these green notes and it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So you start off on chord one, which is C, E, and G. And then chord two is the exact same notes, except we move the middle note up to an F. Very easy. Then chord three, we move the F back down to an E. So pattern three is actually the same as pattern one. And then finally chord four, we move the middle note E down to this D. So now we have one, two, three, four. And the left hand stays the same. So it's just one, two, three, four. All right, so now all we're gonna do is play each one of these chords two times. So we have chord one, Chord two, chord three, chord four. And actually this sounds pretty good as is. But check it out, to make it even more beautiful, we're gonna play the exact same thing, except instead of playing all the notes at the same time, we're simply gonna mash the pedal down and play them one at a time going up and then going back down. So first we take chord one, we start at the bottom and we go up and then we go back down and we just repeat it one more time. Pretty easy. And then we take chord two, we're gonna go up and then down and repeat it one more time. Then chord three, same thing, start at the bottom, up, and then down, and repeat it one more time. And then chord four, same thing, start at the bottom and go up, and then go down, and repeat it one more time. And once you practice this for five to 10 minutes, now you can play this. Just sound beautiful and you can learn it very easily. All right, now check this out. Once this starts getting boring, all you have to do is play these same notes, lock your hand in this exact same shape and just shift it up to these two C's and you can play the same thing and it still sounds amazing. and all of a sudden you instantly have another beautiful pattern to play with. All right, next up we got the sing-along pattern and then everybody's favorite, the heart melter. But before that, now would be a great time to download the cheat sheet so that you'll have these patterns right at your fingertips and have them forever. So click the link, enter your name and email, hit submit and download your free cheat sheet now. All right, next up we got the sing-along pattern and this is a super fun, catchy pattern that'll get everyone singing along. All right, so we're gonna start with the same chords as pattern one, but now I want you to clap this rhythm with me, all right? Da, 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 da. And all we're gonna do is play these chords with that rhythm. So now we got da, 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 da. Sounds pretty cool, huh? And then we're gonna make this even better. But first, if you like what you're learning so far, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps support the channel and I would really appreciate it. But now to make this pattern even better, we're gonna modify the chords over here to this. Now don't freak out. As you'll notice, the right hand actually stays exactly the same as we were doing before. Exactly the same, we're just going to change the left hand. So instead of playing C and G, we're gonna lock our hand, take the same shape, and move it down two notes to A and E for chord one. 
Then for chord two, we take this same shape that we just played and shift it down two notes to F and C. Then for chord three, we shift this up to C and G. And then chord four, we shift down to G and D. So the whole thing looks like this. Chord one, chord two, chord three, and chord four. Now, if this is too hard for you, for the rest of this pattern, you can actually just leave out the middle note in the right hand and just play C and G the whole time, and it still sounds good. So we have chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four. Still sounds great. All right, so let's start out just playing each chord four times. So it sounds like this. Already, this is starting to sound cool. Now, you could play it just like that, or you can add the da, 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 da pattern we learned earlier, and it's going to sound like this. Do you recognize this song, by the way? What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out You got my head spinning No kidding, I can't pin you down And once you start getting really good at this, you can actually be creative and just make up any rhythm you want to playing the exact same chords Might sound something like this get everybody singing along. All right, next up, we got everybody's favorite, the heart melter pattern. But first, if you like these patterns, I have a bunch more coming out soon. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on those. All right, let's move on to the heart melter. And ironically, even though this is everybody's favorite, it's actually the easiest one to learn. So all we're gonna do is use the exact chords that we just learned and simply play the right hand four times and the left hand one time. Sounds something like this. By the way, do you recognize this song? You may have heard it before. Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be hard. Pretty cool, huh? And by the way, if this is too hard for you, just like before, in the right hand, you can leave out this middle note and just play the right hand like this and it still sounds good. But let's make this even more beautiful. All we have to do is add some simple dynamics. So you notice when I play, I play simply alternating loud and soft over and over. So instead of playing like a robot, I alternate Loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, sounds like this. See how it sounds way more beautiful that way? By the way, if you want to learn four more popular songs that are super easy to learn in five minutes or less, click this video here. Or if you want a super simple pattern that creates emotion using only four notes, click here. 